Red imported fire ants have invaded much of the southern United States in the past century. They're a significant agricultural and medical pest. Thousands of fire ants live in just one fire ant nest. Many ants can sting a person at the same time. If someone disturbs a telltale fire ant mound by stepping on it, hundreds of ants can immediately crawl up the person's leg. Within seconds, they begin stinging repeatedly and almost simultaneously. Multiple stings can lead to severe medical reactions even in people with normal immune systems. Fire ants have a devious technique of not biting right away, but waiting several seconds until many of them have climbed up before biting all at once. By the time you feel it, you're already being bitten multiple times. I experienced this personally in Texas. Large fire ant mounds like this are easy to spot and to avoid, and disturbing a large nest with a stick or a shovel, while it results in an impressive video of an outrush of ants, this type of video is unrealistic and actually underestimates the ant's aggressive danger. Here is a medium-sized fire ant mound, and I'm just going to barely touch it with a piece of grass. In less than a second, hundreds of ants are in attack mode. You just need to touch any fire ant nest, no matter how small, to potentially get stung hundreds of times. Very small nests with little work soil can be stepped on inadvertently, and they're the most dangerous. Let's take a look. Here are several empty poison bait treated mounds in which most of the fire ants died and the survivors left to start new colonies. Most fire ant colonies are multiple queen colonies now and colonies frequently migrate from one site to another on the surface of the ground or in cracks during dry periods. Ants in migrating colonies are highly defensive and should be avoided. For the homeowner in their yard or unwary person standing in a park, it is these very small migrating colonies that are the most dangerous, and they're most likely in the days after a large mound has been treated. This is a small treated migrating colony that is not quite abandoned, but you can see the few remaining ants are lethargic and unorganized, and will soon die, but they could still bite you if you stood there long enough. But now the survivors have moved on. This is the new temporary colony formed by the fire ant survivors. It is very small and not easy to spot and could easily be stepped on or disturbed. Although it's small, hundreds of extremely aggressive fire ants spill out in less than a second when disturbed and will bite anything. This is how many people get bitten. Watch out for fresh worked soil like in these landscape rocks and around patios and trails of ants or foraging ants. Ant bait is good but has to be put out almost continuously to keep the fire ants at bay. Here is the fire ant colony on the move. 